What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we got an innovative marine aqua shield UV sterilizer for your cube 20 nano tank. So yes, they do make UVs for nano tanks and this is a great one. So let's get into this. All right, so before we get into the video itself, um, I do wanna share some upgrades I got. Uh, yes, I know, just keep buying this and that. You don't have to, I'm just, if this is something you want, then go for it. Uh, the lid is from Kraken's Reef, and they make custom lids for tanks, and they're like perfectly fit, pre-assembled and everything for your tank, and it comes with a little feeding port. And then upgrades, you can get a little cup that fits in there for feeding and it dips below the water level so the food will just like chill there instead of just floating around the top. Also, sorry I'm moving around, I gotta hold this. If you guys know anywhere that sells like lens covers for cameras, leave it in the comments please because this is, this is a pain for real. Um, this diffuser I got off of Amazon. Uh, I just searched up like AI diffusers and it kind of keeps the light centered and not too much spread outside the tank. Uh, Hydro's feeder, I'll get into that in another video. I did get um, the Hydro system. I'm waiting on a few other things. So once I get all that set up and uh, I'll give my opinion on Hydro's versus Neptune. Cause I did have Neptune systems before. Uh, yeah, that's about it as far as tank. I did just get a couple few corals in um, we'll save that for later but Zoas I got some new heads coming in everything looks good I did see a couple Eptasias which suck so I did get something for that that I'm gonna kill all right let's talk about this UV sterilizer all right so I had it in here for roughly about four days now, and I'll show you the glass. Um, main reason I got it is for like nuisance algae. It does control or kill like cyanobacteria, dinos, and all that, but I feel like if there's an outbreak in your tank of that, it's not gonna help it. You guys, you gotta kinda like put it in here before that happens, but this is what it looks like. That's all it is, the lights inside. It's a wire and a power, like a on off switch on the back. Um, they say to leave this running all the time. So I just cut a piece of filter fluff. Oh my God, I need to change that. But it comes with, you can see like a little pad and the lights right underneath. And then that just kind of fits. The, uh, there's a cut for the cord. And then I just put my filter floss right in it and it fits right in your overflow area just like that it's kind of loose it's not like see right here it's like it'll fit but it's not like tight in there so what i did is just for a little extra security i put the light right up against it so it kind of holds it so i had it initially right here but they say UVs need like a good amount of water flow and I didn't think it would have fit in there, but it did. You just got to take off that little extra uh, acrylic piece that they give here for the uh, filter sock to fit in. Take all that out and it'll just pop right in. So yeah, so definitely cube 20, it fits. Um, I mean, it's doing good so far, no issues. But this is the switch it comes with. And then you just pretty much pop it on put in the um, UV and you're pretty much ready to go. Very simple. So pretty much ever since I put it in, I really didn't clean the glass. I didn't even wipe this thing. And look at that. It is clear. No algae on the glass. That's really all I'm dealing with right now. So it's doing its job that quick. Okay, so when you put these things in, just make sure, I keep saying this, turn off your ATO. So when you're putting this in, 
Obviously water is gonna rise, so you gotta adjust your sensor or take some water out to match your sensor and then turn it back on. Even right now, I turned it off because I was pulling it out in, so just keep that in mind because this is a small tank. Little fluctuations can make a big difference on sensors and all that. All right, so I had a question about how I connected this skimmer. So it'll be vertical into your um, back chamber on the right side. And the magnet, let me put some light here. See the magnet, it's literally oh, right there. Put some more, right there, you see it? So it's right before the other baffle starts and then it'll connect to it and being at that level, you'd be at the perfect water height for the skimmer to run. So very simple setup. Just don't push it too low into the other baffle because it will get stuck and um, it's gonna be hard to get out. If you guys enjoyed the video, smash that like button. And if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, um, I got some great videos coming up um, that you guys will be interested in. So catch you guys on the next. Ah.